What's up, everybody? Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming here, and we've got one of the final free roam videos for LEGO The Incredibles. That's right, we got New Urbum Downtown Free Roam. We're gonna go check things out, we're gonna get a couple of collectibles, and of course, unlock a few needed characters for the free play. Now, at this point, we probably have everybody we really need except for that super destroyed character, but we'll talk about that in a wee bit. Hey, quick reminder that we have some quick links down below in the video description for you, so you can quickly get to whatever you're needing. Maybe that Pixar family build may be an ambient crime. You never know. We didn't really note a whole bunch of those ambient crimes down below. But uh, that's uh, we wanted to include them in the video, though. So we show you on the map where they are right here, just in case you need to get a couple of these done. This is the Breaking Baddies ambient crime, which we've already completed and unlocked our character and extra gold brick. And, uh, yeah, but we wanted to make sure that you knew where those areas are so that you can farm those if you are lacking a few. But, hey, we're going to go ahead and do the area challenge, which this one happens to be called the Ice Cream Time. There are five of these boxes scattered throughout that need to be smashed, banged, and boomed, and then rebuilt into some ice cream. That's right. We're going to go ahead and uh, serve the local community some gelatos. And look at that. We've got a nice little stand. That's number two. So they're they're actually all pretty close to each other. There's a little bit of a stretch in between number two and number three. But there she blows on the left side of the road there. In fact, if you go straight down the main strip, uh, if, if you use the quick travel or fast travel, it'll actually take you right to this road. That's another way to find your way about. And let's see here. The third one, uh, four, excuse me, the fourth one is going to be down and around the corner over here. Let's see. It's right oh, around this next one. Rich. There we go. Look at that. Of course, we're going to show you on the map. And we do have quick links for each one of these five different points. And, uh, you know, we did these all in order rather than scattering them out. Because we just figured it was nice and easy. We wanted to get them out of the way. And we figured it would be, you know, probably easier for you guys to follow rather than having to quick click through the quick links. <laughs> Not so easy for me to say. <laughs> all right, I'm off to a rocky start. And uh, full disclosure, I have been sick the last couple of days, which is why there has been a little bit of a gap if you're following these day by day. Uh, I am feeling a little better. Brain still not quite functioning like I'd like it to, but uh, that's all right. We'll get through this together, I promise. But we got that goo brick, and we also got Sally Sunday. I'm not sure uh, if that's beneficial or not, but we're going to need it for the 100%, so we'll take it. All right, off and running we go. Next up, we've got gold brick number two. Now, number two, you're probably wondering where number one went. Well, we did get one for that local area challenge, and that does actually count as one of the gold bricks if you're following along with the old counter down below there. Now, you might have noticed, too, that when we started this area, we had a couple of gold bricks already, and that is because we completed the crime wave, and there was some story-based stuff that also came through some of the areas. So, uh, to be specifically honest with you, I'm not sure if uh, they were all related to the crime wave, or part of story, but uh, we've done both of those, and that is where those have come from. We've done no extra stuffs offside the video here. This here gold brick does require a strong man like Mr. Incredible to rip the back of that truck off, which will give us some buildable bricks that you can see are now into a shock panel. Uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and pump, pump, pump it up with somebody with the shock power like Electrix. And look at that. All of a sudden, those, uh, those hearts light up. The door opens, and bah, 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 we've got ourselves a gold brick. Go ahead and sneak inside there and grab that bad boy. And now we're off to the other gold brick that is noted here on our little mini-map. It shows that it's somewhere close, and I was wondering if I was going to have to, like, take out these hearts or what, because I flew all the way around this building and didn't see it. However, it fooled me, because it's actually up on the top, hiding on one of the balconies. And we'll find that out here in a second when we fly up and target that thing. So going to go ahead and switch to somebody with a little bit more uh, mobility here. And there we go. Target that gold brick. And upsy-daisy. Just as promised, it's actually snuck inside that top balcony there. And then uh, we'll go ahead and swoop on in there. That's kind of a funny angle, if I'm being honest. We'll jump out and fly to the rooftop. And rather than go right to that race, we're actually going to go ahead and grab the Incredibrick up top of this tower. Now, why do I do that? Because, well, sometimes those races take you far, far and away. And we don't want to have to, like, come back to this area. We would rather, uh, you know, take our chances, grab everything right here, and then uh, not have to come back. You know what I mean? All right, so we'll go ahead and step into the race. We got 105 seconds, or actually, it's a minute and five. If I'm being totally honest, little little different math there. I, I can math, but uh, we've got to just. Uh, my best advice for this race is actually to uh, not use the turbo booster. I I I believe 
Um, I come really close because I get a little squirrely. And a couple of these, and I, and I it's actually, like I said, I'd been sick for a couple of days. I don't remember if it was this one or the final one. We got the financial district up next, which will be the final free roam video. Oh, yep, see, there's a couple of those moments that, uh, you know, make me look less than stellar at flying. But I definitely recommend not using the old turbos, which is double tapping on the jump or fly button. Because you just get a little too out of control at times, and uh, there's really not a good way to hit the old air brakes. At least I haven't figured it out. If you know something I don't, feel free to leave a comment down below. And hey, if you're feeling uh, talkative, communicative, whichever word you prefer to use, feel free to drop some comments down below too. You know, we, we haven't really interacted a whole lot with a lot of yous lately. Oh, and that's right. I did actually have to do this race over again, so there was an edit at some point. I guess I didn't really see or notice when that was but uh yeah because i remember i almost got that in credit break and i failed i got silver so i had to do it again and i, I remember coming in on the second time thinking go lower go lower but hey now that we're here let's go ahead and grab that in credit break right or uh, try to um yeah, so about that. Okay, finally. Whew. And look at that. We're getting pretty close to the Incredible Builder Challenge, which requires us to get 100 of those Incredible Bricks. Now, I thought that we got a trophy achievement for completing that, but I guess I was wrong. It must just be related to the 100% because I do not believe we get any trophy achievements for that. Huh? All right, here we go. We've got uh, three bricks is all it required, and we had 28. So spam, 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 spam. Yeah, that's right. Completer than meters. And uh, once you do, we're actually going to unlock one of the family builds for the area. And, of course, it gives us a gold brick, too. This is not a Pixar build, so we're not going to get an extra character, nor will there be an, a red brick afterwards. However, this one's pretty cool. A little homage to TT Games, huh? It's about time we saw some sort of representation. If you don't know, that's uh, the developers of this game. They are tied in with Warner Brothers to go ahead and bring us all these lovely... Uh, you know, IPs, which are like the different, you know, movies and and uh, genres of things that, you know, that we love to see. Like The Incredibles, for example. Yeah, that's right. That's how they, they make it all possible. TT and WB. Shout out to WB for all the love they've given us this last year or two as well. They didn't hook us up with this game, which is why you haven't heard me mumbling a lot about that. Uh, but they have given us a ton of fun stuff. And if you haven't checked it out, check out our unboxings, our mystery mail packages, and all that stuff. We've, we've had a lot of fun with some uh, some Warner Bros. stuff. So, hey, if you're listening out there, WB, we're ready for another mystery mail package. Just saying. All right. I got a little squirrely here on the old button pressings. Look at that. That was the worst one ever, probably. But another family build is complete. This one's actually kind of cool. It's way up on... The mountainside. No, it's just a building. But we, we actually go up way high up in the air using Dash and his super awesome Dash ability. Now, I do have a couple of the red brick stud multipliers on. In fact, I've got 120 times as well as the stud attract, which makes that whole cleanup area right there at the end a lot easier. If you don't have that stud attract red brick on, you got to actually go and get a lot closer to those studs. Now, look at this. Oh, I, uh, I got a little button happy there and missed it. So here we go. You just got to wait for the actual icon to pop up and hit it when it's time. And look at that. This is pretty awesome. Woo to the hoo! takes us all the way to this really tall building which happens to have an incredible brick on top of it as well so guess what next up is incredible brick number three we're gonna go ahead and swoop that up now uh yeah this one is uh pretty high up here be careful not to fall off that next step said those and look at that we got 97 of the oh 96 i thought it was gonna add one more my bad oh that was a quick button press there so i didn't have to plummet to my doom sorry dash i'm not gonna be with you on that journey it looks like we've got another incredible brick right below us. Oh, no, I am going down. But uh, this this was a little more controlled. And there it is. It's floating up in the air. Definitely going to need somebody with a little extra hops to get up there and collect that guy. Let's see here. What do we got next? We've got, oh, another incredible brick right around the corner. So up we go. And again, I probably should have not fallen all the way to the ground. But that's all right. That's all right. What uh, what are you guys looking forward to most in the free play? Is there a particular level that's got you stumped or something that you know maybe I could help you with now? We've got a trophy achievement guide over on our website that Tyler P. put together that's got all sorts of information, and it's actually the, the guide I will be using to find all of the collectibles for the free play video, so uh, you might check that out. And this next goo brick is up on top, and you got to step on the old switch here and then switch characters and then use the old uh, air... Air, I don't know what that is. It's some sort of a fan float. Get your float on, I guess. Maybe that's, uh, they all float up down here, up here. 
it's maybe it's a little backwards, right? They all float up here. <laughs> all right, all right, moving along. We've got uh, we got an incredible brick in the middle of this little pond here. You'd think you might find some koi fish or something, but nope. It's an Incredibrick! We need one more of those to go ahead and unlock that last brick for the challenge, which is pretty cool. Oh, is there an edit here? No, I guess not. Maybe there wasn't an edit here. I don't know. We got, uh, you know, these races, I've been failing this. I, the first, like, ten races, no problem. Super easy. I, I don't know if it's, like, user error or if they've actually just gotten harder, you know, as, as the free roams have gone through. But uh, regardless, whoa! Gotta go back. Gotta get them all. Gotta get them all. In fact, you do if you want to finish the race. So uh, we'll go ahead and make our way all the way through these. And like I said, uh, you know, Dash is definitely the best foot racer. I, I know that Lightning McQueen is pretty quick, too. Um, you know, I, I don't know. I haven't done, like, an actual foot race. That might be a video for the funsies, huh? Maybe I get Reese involved in some co-op play, and then he and I can do, like, a race. Uh, that might be fun. Because then that would actually that would tell us who is faster, Lightning McQueen or Dash. But I've been using Dash for all the races. But he does get a little out of control in some of the turns and stuff. So uh, we'll, have to, we'll have to check that out. If, if you guys would like to see a Lightning McQueen versus Dash video, let me know. I, mean, I, I would imagine somebody's already figured that out by now. But we don't have that information. So if you know something we don't or you'd like to see it, drop us a comment. And, man, that gold brick was quick and easy on the back side of the prison there. This this incredible brick, if I remember right, I think, I, I think this one sends me for a little bit of a journey. I... I, I then look, okay, so let's talk about this too. Here we go again. Oh no, there's the incredible brick. Look, look, I've got the incredible brick targeted, but it it was it was showing me the gold brick back there, and it's still showing this weird thing. But hey, look, we get plus one gold brick. We get Strato Gale character token for collecting a hundred incredible bricks. Now, this may not happen for you right now. You may have already got this. This is not relevant to this area. This is relevant to the entire free roam area. So once you get 100 in credit bricks, that will unlock for you. But back to what I was saying, look, that, that objective marker is still popping up there. And, you know, I, I, I'm not sure why that is doing that. So, uh, you know, if you know something about that, I feel like the story marker is, like, resetting. I feel like, didn't we need to go to the prison for, for this area during this? And I've been seeing some weird stuff on my map from time to time, too. And, oh, this is a funny edit. Watch this. So I've got the gold brick targeted, but my arrow is telling me to go over to the other side, where, and it's still telling me that. So I ran over there, looked, and investigated the area, and look, look at this. Third time's the charm, too. This is pretty funny. Whoopsie. Sorry about those civilians. But, yeah, so, you know, try not to fall. This is why I hate the red brick detectors. Uh, I don't even have anything like that on, but often they will tell you to go somewhere where you don't need to be. See, I'm targeting that in credit brick. It is targeted, right? But now it's telling me to go over to that objective marker. I just, oh, uh, hopefully this will get patched for, you know, later use, you know, but I, anyways, and, and maybe it's something I have done. Maybe it's, I, I have no idea. Uh, Tyler P never mentioned any of this and maybe he just didn't pay attention to it. Uh, but anyhow, uh, I try to ignore it as best as I can, but it, it's totally like pointing way over there telling me that's where the incredible break is, even though, yeah, so interesting stuff and again maybe there's something i'm missing maybe i'm a complete maroon and i've done something here but look i'm targeting that see that see that i'm targeting it i'm going right towards it and this time it's actually there but look as i fall to the ground it switches <laughs> i just i don't know anyhow i'll try to ignore that for the rest of this video we'll just move along move along We've got an incredible brick uh, next up. It actually is on the high rise building over here. And look at that. My arrow is actually pointing to the right spot. That is so, so nice. So we'll go ahead and collect that. And there happens to be a gold brick right below us here. So we'll target that bad boy and get our drop on. Hopefully uh, you're not like me and you don't get, oh man, I don't know what it is about video games and plummeting. Like my brain feels like I'm falling. You know, we used to have these bridges uh, over the, the nearby uh, river and we would often go, and it's not very high, like 20 feet or whatever, you know, we go and jump off that thing and, and um, you know, that feeling that I got from plummeting off the bridge, I get that when playing video games, it's the weirdest thing, like Infamous, oh god, that, oh man, that was terrible, and then of course uh, Crackdown is another one that is just a little bit. Oh, and Borderlands. Yeah, there, I could go on and on and on here with games that make me queasy from fall. Isn't that weird? That that's something I my my, uh, my family members make fun of me because I, I tell them about that. They don't they don't quite understand. None of them play video games though. 
All right, we got another credit break on the front side of the hotel. This guy is uh, up top, sort of. I remember right. Yep, there he is. Is up on the front left corner there. Then we're going to drop down and grab that family build down below us, if I do remember correctly. And look at that. It happens to be a Pixar build. And Linguini character token is going to be available now. Uh, Ratatouille is one of the Pixar movies that I have seen. It's not one of my favorite ones. It's funny. It's it's good. Uh, you know, but uh, and it's cool that you actually get to uh, be Linguini and you get to deploy Ratatouille, which we'll uh, we'll use that here in a second when we actually attempt to get the red brick. So that's kind of cool. And 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 if I remember right, it's the the it's one of, it's one of the last red bricks. We only have we have one more. I think in the next area, and that's it. And and so we've almost got them all completed. Got to get them all, got to get them all. Here it is, let's go ahead and Oh, look at that, it's Linguini. I, I was, you know, those are supposed to be mystery blind bags. I kind of ruin it by having it titled down below there. I'm sorry, but some of you are looking for those characters and it's helpful that, that I have that out there. So it's kind of like, a, it's a conundrum is what it is. We'll go ahead and collect that cool brick as well as all that studdage laying around here. Thank you very much. And now we got this giant building. And if you go around to the back, if you look over here, look at that. We've got uh, we got a tube. And uh, we need somebody to deploy into that tube. But we know that Linguini actually has that capability. So we'll go ahead and get inside. We'll press and hold. I believe it was the circle button for us, which could have been the B button on the old Xbox. Switch, PC, not sure. Sorry. Um, anyhow, we've got, uh, we, we made our ratatouille go up to the top of Wooey, and look at that, it's the times eight! We'll take it, that's right. So now we've got some serious multiplication going on here. Well, once, uh, we get this nice little cinematic moment where it adds it to our list, we will go ahead and pull up that said list and activate it, and now we've got a 960 times multiplier. That is pretty awesome. And uh, let's see here. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We, we're going to go ahead and switch to our flying character next. And guess what? We're, I guess that was overkill. We didn't even need to do that. But that's it. 16, 16, 1, 1, 3, 3, 2, 2, 1, 1, oh, to the yeah. Now, I don't know why that objective marker is back. We completed the whole area. We've done the story. I don't know. Even though I said I was going to forget about it, I didn't forget about it. Hey, check us out on social media. If you haven't already, check us out at happythumbsgaming.com as well. For me, that's going to do it. Until next time.